So, yeah, there's something odd about this clock. Um, but, yeah, you can guess what it is. I'm going to show you in a minute, but... So, yeah. Any idea yet? Are you missing something, maybe? I don't know. Maybe you need something to wind the clock up. Or you would at least expect some weight. <laughs> yeah, that pendulum. Hmm, it does make an awful lot of movement, doesn't it? But yeah, we'll... maybe you will hear it when it strikes. If you wait like... almost a bit less than a minute now, it will strike. Any time now. Do you know now? <laughs> so yeah, that that sounds, um, for those of you who are used to um, this kind of clocks, that sound sounds very metallic. Um, and yeah, guess why that is? <laughs> yep, it's completely fake. That's just the speaker in here. <laughs> it's a fake pendulum clock. And the funny thing about this, um, like if if I let it strike again now with uh, the door open, um, because you can hear it better. Um, the funny thing is when the um, the striking ends, uh, the gear train hasn't stopped yet. Um, so in a normal clock, you can hear the gears like winding down, and they put it they put it in like they put it into the like. I don't know, I guess it just plays a sound. They just put it in the sound file or... Yeah, it's very funny. So you can hear it wind down. But, like, the thing is, they could have done a better job. Like, they should be able to put better recording or better speaker in there. That you wouldn't hear the difference. But, yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe they just shouldn't bother making those... wind down after the last strike yeah it's very funny anyways those are fake pendulum clocks they unfortunately exist and yeah <laughs> I don't really like them that much but yeah if a customer brings it in for repair yeah I don't really care them <laughs> it's not my cup of tea but not going to refuse a repair on this. Okay, that was it for this video. Bye. See you in the next one.